Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Ramblin' Man. It is the morning of day 17. I actually have a skill point to spend before we roll out. And with this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and max out Sexual Tyrannosaurus. All right, let's get a move on. First thing we are doing this morning is going to get that treasure. Get out of the way, idiot. Fucking guy standing right in the opening. I mean, what do you want me to do? Hit the fence? Fuck off, Mo. I'm doing stuff here. Oh, damn it. Come on, I gotta dig. I got time for this bullshit. Oh, man, Skull Crusher for the win. There we go. I'm hearing coyotes, so let me make sure we're clear before we try to get into that thing. I swear I heard one. As soon as I start lockpicking it, we're gonna get attacked. There it is. Dead. There's another one. Alright. Now, I only have one lockpick, so the chances of us lockpicking it are slim, but we're gonna try. If not, then we'll bang into it. Very nice, look at that. I'll take everything but the buckshot, no need for that. Ah, we can't fit the silver. Uh, we could dump this mod for the silver. Actually, fuck the sand and the clay soil and this one glass jar. Okay, let's get to the trader. Ah, look at these treasure bandits. I know their game. Wait for me to grab the treasure and then try to rob me? Well, you picked the wrong mark today, I'll tell you that. Whoops. Oh, get out of here, you little bitch. Yeah, put on some weight. You want to come fucking dance with me? Another rainy day in the desert. Why does it rain so much in the desert? I mean, I do like the dynamic weather, but I think they should have something different for each biome, right? I mean, maybe they're still working on that. We are still in alpha. I guess I'll take a sugar butt. What the hell, we got some stuff to sell. Might as well make the most of it. But you know, let's get rain in the grass biome. We got snow in the snow biome, obviously. Uh, in the desert, let's get like fucking sandstorms instead of rain. And then for the wasteland, I don't know, acid rain? Let the rain damage you? I mean, might as well make the wasteland even more terrible. Uh, what? Oh, shit. We got this here. Um, well, I don't want the bicycle or the helmet light mod. I guess we're going to take the ammo crafting bundle. Let's do that. And we got a special job. Do I have to take the special job, though, to get tier two jobs from this Joel? I do. Shit. I guess we got to take it then. Let's see. Uh, hold on. Let me sell him some shit and then we'll see where the new trader is. All right then, Joel. Uh, let's pop open this ammo crafting bundle. Buckshot, bullet tips, brass casings, and paper. Did we get gunpowder, though? Oh, yeah, we did get gunpowder. Nice. Uh, let me just double check something real quick. Yeah, he's still got tier one jobs. All right, we gotta go do this uh, trader quest then. So it's to the north. Oh, it's probably the Joel up here. Oh, look at that. Shit, there's a fucking Trader Joel right over here. Look at that. Two close traders right in this town. We should have stayed up in that town. Whatever. I like it better down here. Um, we got to go up there, though, and go see this new trader. And that's cool that it's a new trader. We can check uh, their inventory, buy some stuff. We got plenty of coin. And that will unlock Tier 2 jobs for our Joel down here. So, a bit of a far ride, but we got to do it. Another Joel, do you believe it? This is like the fourth Joel. Alright, I mean, whatever. Let's uh, check his vending machine. Hi, right, Candy. I'll take one. Oh, supply drop coming in. Where's that at? Here we go. To the south. Maybe we'll spot it on the way back home. Hey, what up, Joel? 
Thank you, Survivor. 550 XP. Let's see what he's got in his inventory. Gunpowder. I'll take it. Shotgun shells. Bullet tips. Uh, that, 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 that. Mm, I see more shotgun shells. Take those. Oh, four more. <laughs> Wasn't much there. Uh, okay, let's check the stash. 762. Uh, no. Alright then. I guess that's it. You know what? We're gonna do a tier 2 job for this, Joel. Let's do something close here. I guess this fetch quest. We knock this out real quick. Come get a reward for that. Then we'll head back down south to uh, our Joel. And, uh... They do a tier two job for him as well. Where are you going, you fuck? Come on, man. Ah, there we go. Whee! Oh, look, you got a ramp built right into the driveway. I would do that every time I came home if I lived here. Oh, level 3 steel shovel. I'll take that and the repair kit. Let's take the mod out of our level 1 iron shovel. Scrap that piece of shit. Put the mod in the steel shovel and then repair the steel shovel. And, uh, sweet. Alright. We're starting up here, it looks like. Oh, and then dropping right back down. Ah, fuck that trash. Oh, damn, bro. What the fuck? What, he follow me up the steps? I didn't even hear him. Sneaky bastard. Okay. Going this way. Got the shotgun out in case there are uh, any dogs down here. Anything crazy like that? Oh, my God. There is a dog. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> See? Thinking ahead. And there's a cop. Oh, smoked him with one shot. Oh, no, I didn't. He's gonna blow. Go ahead, buddy. Do your thing. <laughs> nice. One nail. Uh, I got some trash right here. Another nail. Ten bucks. And uh, I guess this is the way to go here. Whoop. Get out of the way. No, he was dead already. Get up. Scrap those arrows, and uh, I guess I'll take that mod. It's a plug right here with a purse. Cash and cat food. Oh, nice little basement gym right here. Nothing. Water. Oh, damn it, lady. Dead. That's a good thing. This wasn't one hit kill, right? I'd have been dead so many times. I mean, I play a little differently when it's not one hit kill, you know? Because I'm just like, whatever. What are the zombies going to do? Hit me? I'll just kill them and use first aid. But one hit kill is a whole different story. I don't know if you got a chance to watch episode one of that yet. If you didn't, I highly recommend checking it out after you're done watching this. What a wild ride day one was, and uh, I'm really looking forward to getting back in there. It's a completely different way to play this game. It's probably the way this game should be played. Oh, what the fuck was that? God damn, little crawling bastard. Let's see, I would be dead right now. I would be playing much differently, because you gotta play much differently when one shot kills you. You know what I mean? Oh, I mean, look how many times I would have been dead. Abrasion, son of a bitch. Um... But you don't need any first aid in one-shot kill. I mean, you should carry some, I guess, because you can still get hurt by barbed wire or taking fall damage or by spikes, you know? Those don't one-shot kill you. Only entities can one-shot kill you. Oh, can't close that door. Get out of here with those nasty knees, Mo. But uh, anyway, yeah, if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. Uh, definitely... A very fun but stressful way to play the game. And I've heard that the record for the number of zombie kills without taking any damage is 
500 or somewhere around 500. Now, that has really no validity because I haven't seen any proof or a source. I don't know who allegedly holds this record, but I'll tell you one thing. I'm going to try and beat it. Yeah, come on out of there. No, oh, use a crawler now. Dead. Got a nurse also. That guy is uh, just starting to crawl around. Boom, <laughs> she's dead. And he's dead. Corn uh, recipe, which I'll sell. Hey, slow down there, buddy. Shotgun shells and rifle parts. You know what I'm waiting on? The lever action rifle. Here's the main stash. Haven't seen one of those yet. Uh, 44 gun drawn gives you 5% better deal. I'll read that. But yeah, hopefully we can find one of those soon. Makes me want to start a new Ghost Town series. Give ourselves a level 1 revolver and a level 1 lever action. Fuck, we'd be a real life sheriff. And we can only use those guns throughout the entire series. Nothing else. Just those. I mean, we can use, if we find or are able to craft higher levels of those guns, we can do that. But throughout the entire series, we can only use our trusty revolver and the lever action. How do we get out of this fucking place? Uh, motorcycle is that way. Let's just go out the window. What you got for me, Joel? Level 3 Iron Pickaxe. Yep. Taking that. And uh, we're not doing any more jobs for this, Joel. Let's take the modifier out of this level 2 pickaxe, though, and throw that in the level 3. Oh, there's that supply drop. Nice. That's a lot closer than it looked like when the plane was coming in. Let's see what we got here. A oh, pie recipe which we can sell and a nail gun, which I will repair and replace my hammer with. Look at this, we got another supply drop. Definitely taking a bit of a different route home. And uh, it's paying off. Let's see what we got in this one. Uh, two potatoes, two pieces of cornbread, and a food bundle. And look at this. We got the wasteland over here. That's a biome I haven't explored yet. I just want to get it marked on the map so I can kind of see where it's at when we look at the map later. And uh, come on, bird. Leave me alone. Because, um, yeah, maybe after the next horde... We'll cruise on down to the wasteland, see if we can find a city. Will you guys leave me the hell alone? Holy shit. Ah, really? In the middle of the desert? Watch this, ready? Oh, yeah, fuck you. Now that guy's like, really? In the middle of the desert? Oh, well, let's see what we got here. We got shit's law. And wise guy CPA. All right. Just what I can use. A lawyer and an accountant. Um, I decided against doing another job for Joel. It's hour 18. And I'm trying to listen. Because right around now is when we would get... Or start getting thunder. As a indicator we're getting a horde tonight. Ah, close that door. Uh, don't hear anything yet. So, as of now, it looks like we're not going to get one. Holy shit! Get out of here, dog! Um, there's a weapons bag in there. Let's just pop this open here. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's probably the way we were supposed to come to get the weapons bag, but whatever. Oh, shit. Uh, anyway, my point was uh, I decided to come here instead of doing a job for Joel just in case there was a horde tonight. 
uh, we could just hold this place down, but it doesn't look like we're getting one tonight. Um, but we're probably going to stay here anyway. I don't know how good of a place this would have been to fight uh, a horde in. Oh, ten chili dogs. Nice. Let's eat some now. You know, I was kind of taking a gamble coming here, because if there was a horde, I have no idea how big this POI is to clear out, or how good it would be against a horde, because I've never been in this place before. I'll take all that stuff. But that's neither here nor there, because like I said, apparently we are not getting a horde tonight. Let's get in this gun safe. Um, I don't have any lockpicks, so I guess we're beating our way in. Oh, look at that! Oh, wait, wait, that's the hunting rifle. Okay. Shit, I thought that was the lever action for a second. I was gonna be like, fuck, we were just talking about that today. You know what, though? I'm gonna bring this thing down. Why not? Let's take a look at it. Haven't even looked at the new hunting rifle yet. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Ugh. Not feeling the iron sights. Let's put the scope on it. Now the scope, I'm not a huge fan of when it all goes like black like that and you can just see the scope. Uh, don't really like that, but that's how we're going to rock it for now. Just a bunch of junk. Eh, back up. I'll take the coin. Murky water, nah, I'm good. Paper, I'm good. Potato seed. Not farming in this series. Alright, where are we going here? Up the stairs, I guess. Let's check this room out first, though. Go ahead and throw a marker. On this POI, day 17. Let's finish looting it, and then we'll throw down a campfire, cook some food, call it a night. Now, there's a light right here, but it's not pointing to anything. I mean, I don't think it wants us to go out this window, does it? No, there's nothing out here. I think we got to go up those steps. Yeah, we got some more offices up here. The elevator shaft. Rooftop access. Oh, here we go. Well, nothing in the elevator shaft. A conference room right here. Lumberjack. See ya. Book we already read. Hold on to that. We'll sell it. Paper? Nah. Little bathroom right here. With uh, not much. Is that a plug? Nope. All right, not much going on on that little rooftop area. I guess we're going up again. Back up, Skinny Pete. Syringe? Yeah, I'll take that. Oop, dead. Come on, cop. Dead. Oh. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Too fucking easy with Skull Crusher, dude. We don't have a steel sledgehammer yet. We're still working with iron. Come on, get up there. Ooh, where'd that guy come from? Did he drop down? Oh, he's dead now. Some cash. Alright, there was a crate in here. Let's pop that open. Some frames we don't really need. I'll scrap those. We can always craft more. Got plenty of wood. Not sure what's going on in there. Hey, here's the stash, I guess. Is that it? Must be. Some ammo. Pistol parts. Machine tool parts. I was looking forward to a bigger stash than that. I guess there wasn't much to this POI, was there? 
Probably could have found a decent way to hold it down against the horde, though. You know, with the staircase, we would have figured something out. Probably would have needed a little more work, a little more time, though, to uh, knock some stairs out. Here's a bird. Oh, got him. Without getting off the ladder. Uh, that just drops us down to the main stash again. That's weird. Yeah, I mean, instead of knocking stairs out because they're cement steps, we would have just put bars in at the steps. And um, as they started breaking the bars, we could have just backed up and put more bars in. That's how I probably would have played it. But since we're not getting one tonight, we don't got to worry about it. Clay soil. It'd be nice if we can find a painkiller real quick. I mean, it's kind of a shot in the dark. Just to get rid of this concussion. Let's check this newsstand. If we don't have any luck here, then uh, that'll be it. Some coin. Paper. Zombies. Out here trying to cure a concussion. We're going to end up just getting hurt. Yeah, look. It's starting. <laughs> Probably not the, the smartest thing to be out here in the middle of the city making noise. Look at that. Fucking hip shot with the rifle. Oh my god. Oh, it's starting. Are we good? Nope. Oh, this is promising. For a painkiller. I mean, it's not a pill case, but, uh, yucca juice. And that's all we can search. Oh, no. Empty can, and that's it. All right, well, probably shouldn't be fucking around out here in the middle of a city at night. We're gonna end up with more than a concussion. So let's just get inside. Oh, you're supposed to put the hatch up before you open the door, smart guy. All right, I think we'll be pretty safe in here for the night. We'll turn off our headlight and just chill. Don't have to cook food tonight because we got a bunch of chili dogs if we're hungry. Matter of fact, let's eat one now. And uh, we're just chilling. So uh, that's going to be it for this episode. Then I'll go through this inventory tonight and see if we want to dump anything or whatever. And we'll pick things up on the morning of day 18. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Ramblin' Man and more One-Shot Kill, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.